What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the best time of the year, the Vintage Cube. And we have seven of eight in the queue. This is, this should be called the Cube, Q-U-E-B-E. -E. Wow, look at this, this has gotta go. All right, so get our scaler out. I like to have them just big enough that they fit exactly, and then I can raise this guy up a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Got an Aether, Aetherflux Reservoir in Retro Frame, Primeval Titan in Retro Frame. That's pretty nice. I'm a fan of both of those things. I'm, I was under the impression this card was removed. Was this not removed? What? L A E. Thank you. Well, we got 19 seconds, huh? Yeah, this was supposed to be removed for Rampaging Frostodon. That's interesting. Cabalin, thank you for the Risa. I like actually Timeless Lotus a lot. But I think Primetime does everything that Timeless Lotus does. But it's also a 6-6. Six -six. Rona seems pretty cool. And then she becomes a an obliterator. But like a cool obliterator. A cool obliterator. Uh, I don't care about braids. Spellbinder is fine. Oath is... Fine. Also, this is this the Phyrexian man is black on here, so that just puts us in the salt high in the second pick. Might just be Narset. Charter course. Oh, man. Truth is this pack does not feel great. I wanna take the Rona. I think Rona is probably one of the best cards that I'd like to try out. I mean, she's a looter by herself. Draw a card and this card. But then if you play a legendary card, she loots again. Mox Diamond seems really good. And I'm kind of surprised it's, it's in here. So I'm going to take a Mox Diamond. And, hmm. Vorinclex, eh? So for eight mana, you exile and then return to the battlefield transformed. Mill ten cards. Put up to two creatures from among them onto the battlefield. I mean, that's pretty sick for eight mana. Distribute seven one one counters among any number of creatures. Is that all it does? I can't see the rest. Yes. Until the end of the turn, creatures you control gain one mana. This creature fights target creature you don't control. And then you flip it again? I don't know. That's pretty cool, man. I feel like that's... I feel like we're taking that. <laughs> like, I just want to play this. Uh... I believe, yeah, I, I, this is apparently supposed to be Ryan's new cube, but Lelia, is that her name? <laughs> Lelia is still in here, which is interesting because she's supposed to not be in here. What if I natural order for Vorn Clex? And when he, oh yeah, and also when he enters the battlefield normally, you just get two forests and they're just forests. So you can get breeding pool. It doesn't say basic forests. I kind of just want to take natural order now. I'm assuming dark depths is in here, which is why crop rotation is in here. Plain swamp forest. Like I can get this with, with boring clicks, <sighs> which is interesting because this pack does not have a ton of compelling choices. Mere battle sphere. I mean, like, we're obviously trying to be a green rampy deck. I'm gonna take the triome just in case. Woodfall Primus. It's pronounced Primus. I, I replaced Finale of Devastation in my cube with Invasion of Ikoria. Cause I actually just think it's much, much better. 
Yeah, I'll take Primus. I just like Primus. Even though, like, this is a lot of fat, fatty fat. I guess this guy's only five. Like, this isn't a, a true fatty fat. Metamorphose is interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. Ramp is correct. That is that is in, that is in fact what we are looking to do. We have not uh, found the the components to successfully do it yet, but I hope that devoted druid comes back. That'd be cool. None of these cards are exciting. Sorry, Kabalan. <laughs> I guess I'll just take Marari's Wake, because that's... Wake is ramp. <laughs> it's, it's not the best, but it'll it'll fall into the category, I guess. Okay, Oath came back. That's kind of funny. We could also just take a Leshnorn and be white, which makes the Andatha Triome work as well. Regrowth is fine. Pleasantly mediocre. Now we'll eventually have. Uh, now, now eventually you might have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour, right? Hello. I really do hate that man. Vampire hex mage, eh? Fascinating. So, not the best pack one, we'll say. But I like Natural Order, I like Primeval Titan. Zurinorm, huh? I like a Rafelos. This is a good fellow. I'm gonna take him. I don't think this, this pack has anything even remotely close to Rafelos here. Huh. Court of Bounty. I actually like Court of Bounty a lot, and I put it in my cube as well. Uh, I took it out, though. Did I add? I like the way you die, boy. I did. I did, in fact, add that. It's a great, it's a great quote. You think Mystic over Court, huh? So Court comes into play. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land from your hand on the battlefield if you're the monarch. So if you can play Court of Bounty retain the monarchy and go to your next turn, you get to put a card from your, a creature into play for free, basically. I mean, that seems really good. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try, I, like, for some reason it didn't work in my cube. Like, it, it was kind of underwhelming. I don't know what it was. Or maybe I tried it somewhere else and I was like, oh, I don't like this that much. There's Dark Depths and we also have Vampire Hex Mage here. We did lose the crop rotation. I'm just gonna take wall and stick to our current plan. Watch if we see a thespian stage, I'll be sad. We also have Primeval Titan to get Dark Depths, so. Use prime time to go get Dark Depths and Thespian Stage. That's just that's just clean living. Oh, I like a Grim Monolith. I also like a Traxa Grand Unifier, and that is a, a natural order target as well. Oh, shoot. Shooty booties. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. So is it Grim, or is it a Traxa? I, I, I kind of really want to play a Traxa as well. But going turn two Monolith and turn three Primeval Titan, Plow Under a Moron Clex seems pretty good. I'm gonna take the Grim, and maybe Atraxa comes back. Maybe Atraxa comes back. -sa. <laughs> Solid, so smart. Yeah, I also think it's Grim. If you keep shooting booties, HR is gonna call you. I don't even have an HR. <sighs> 
I did have another company reach out to me, though, and they want to chat on Monday, so that's cool. Uh, I don't think we're in Deathrite Shaman territory. It might be in Ulamog territory, though, if we get a channel. So I'm going to take the Ulamog. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh, what up, check two? That's something right there. You know, I'll take the Ulamog. Well, there, in, the, in like one of the earlier packs, there was also a, a, the other Ulamog and a Blightsteel Colossus. So, you know, if either one of those comes back. Anything here we care about? Garrick is actually pretty decent. He also makes natural order targets. Yeah, that's an easy pick, I think. Time of need. Interesting choice, Ryan. Interesting choice. I think I just like Force of Vigor here. I kind of just want to take Metal Worker because no one else should have it. I don't think we're going to play Heartbeat of Spring, so a little too symmetrical for me. I don't need opponents also getting mana. Come on. Come on, buddy. And we have yet to actually have to play a white card. Thank There's you. the blight steel. That's that's what we were talking about. Oh, MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. I'll never be done ever for, for good, you know. I always I always come back every now and then. You guys can't can't get rid of me forever. Much as you'd like to, I'm sure. There's a worm coil too. Man. Our uh our channel targets just went through the roof. I'll just take wins in case we're we're doing the white game. I do not care about Rashad and Port. Taking playables here. Crazy talk. So where's the Mox Emerald? I thought there was a Mox Emerald in this pack. Oh, no, I think I'm mistaken. Must have been thinking of something else. <laughs> my, my mistake. Us wanting... Oh, okay. I thought it was like a card choice. Well, I appreciate that. Is it Eureka here? I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, like six good Eurekas. I... Dude... I like a Eureka. I'll take it and we'll see what we can do. Right now we're leaning on Natural Order and Eureka. And Rafellos, you know? Um, Mind Twist off of Mox Diamond and Dotha Triome. Maybe Bayou or Zagoth Triome comes back? Because let's be honest, this pack is not super exciting. Acidic Slime is fine. I'm going to take the Mind Twist because I think... The upside of mind twisting is significantly higher than the consistency of acidic slime. Eureka's castle. Eureka's. I mean, I like Archon of Cruelty just for the Eureka lulls, but I think Ugin's the better pick because it goes well with Channel and Eureka. 
So I'm going to just take the... I'm just going to keep taking Fat Daddies. Sylvan Carry Added is good. That kind of helps us. Also, turn two Sylvan Carry Added into turn three Natural Order is good. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, uh, you can Eureka Ugin. You can Eureka any permanent. Each player put a permanent from their hand onto the battlefield or repeat it until no one puts a card in the battlefield. Your Overgrown Tomb seems good if we're mind twisting. Let's take an Overgrown Tomb. I would take Hornet Queen, but <laughs> come on. We're doing okay. <sighs> hmm. Fascinating. I think it's just Kogla here. I mean, we could take Scrubland because it's white and black, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's it's deranged, not insane. Rude. Kitchen Finks. Elvish Reclaimer is meh. Birthing Pod? I don't think we have a, anywhere near enough of a good chain for a Birthing Pod. I think we'll just take Kitchen Finks for like a sideboard situation. I would rather play Eternal Witness than Regrowth, so that's an easy switch. Eternal Witness uh, works but well with protecting our Court of Bounty, and it also works well with Natural Order. Now I have Eureka's Castle song stuck in my head. <laughs> Monogreen with no one drops, yeah. It's good times. Hey man, we live the life we live, you know? Got another green light. Sneak attack's interesting. We're also missing some playables, but I guess we can just toss them like Kitchen Finks. Uh, we have Marari's Wake in the sideboard too. Oh, the Acidic Slime's good. Thanks for coming back, friend. And we got Through the Breach? We could have Sneak Attack and Through the Breach? Jeez. I mean, we're leaning heavily here on Grim Monolith, Channel, Rafelos, and, and Mox Diamond, right? I don't think we'd play Xenagos. Endurance is good, though. Endurance is probably main deckable here. Eureka's Castle. Whisperwood. You're fine. I don't think I'm, like, in the position to start taking, like, Ravages of War. Eureka's Castle. Should have took Ravages. Timed out. I think we just had Mind Twist. Then we have Indatha, Overgrown... Mox, Sylvan. It's four sources of black. Um, Primeval Titan is technically a source of black. Vorinclex gets overgrown or Indatha, so that's also a source of black. I mean, it's not terrible. Plus, both of our black sources are forests as well, so... They're gonna to count toward Rafellos. They're not like they're not like hindering us from casting mine or uh, channel on turn two. Let's take a loyal retainers. Look at these two Portal Three Kingdoms cards in the same pack. Wild. And an oust. And that is our first vintage cube draft of the day. Of the season of the day. Wow, look how tiny they are. Um, I think we're going to do it. I like we got, we got, a, we got some good green guys for natural or we got some good colorless guys for channel. I'm okay with it.
<laughs> so we, yeah, then we just play 15. Why did they say 14 and no other lands? They're just like, here, look at this. We'll go add lands. 14? Sounds good. Oh, look, we don't have a playable deck. Oh, I add one more. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. All right. Please note, league matches now start upon pairing. There is no longer a confirmation to join. I never thought there was a confirmation to join. Maybe, oh, there was. I would have to click, like, join match. That's okay with me. Are you saying boo or <laughs> I was saying boo earns? <laughs> oh boy. Good times. And then we just sit and wait, you know? All right. And here we are playing against Jufro 10. Come minimize that. Make you just big enough that everyone can see all the beautiful baby boys. This is a first turn channel into Ulamog, so that's cool. Michael B. is alive. He just got back from a little walk, in fact. Play this. Uh, let's play this. Let's play this. And how's your mother? I like to make these large enough so that they fit exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Cast your daddy. Oh, I. Oh, okay. We just. I have to choose two. Like I had to kill my own my own land, but I guess it doesn't matter because. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, first <laughs> first game in the books. We had a good run, so that's uh, uh, okay. We got a first turn wall of roots here. If we hit a land, we got a second turn court of bounty or a third turn second turn court of bounty. <sighs> I do like having the chat up as well. I, I want I did I just saw this now and I want to say you too, but I don't want to be like you too after I just like turn one channel Ulamogged him. You know what I mean? Like that feels worse. That's like mm, crush you. Good luck. <laughs> it's like uh uh it's not sportsmanlike. So that's not. And this is a they're having a they're having a, a tough moral dilemma here as to what to put under this under this chrome mox. Play this guy. What they put under here? Shieldred. So any land here, and we get to either Court of Bounty or Natural Order, and that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. That was not, in fact, a land. So, you know. Having a good time. It's 
Chrome Mox decision longer than game one. <laughs> it's a solid, it's a solid, uh, you know, it's a thing. I'm just gonna always yield to that, I guess. I don't foresee myself having any great responses to it. I would love to natural order my wall of roots, but both of these cost four mana. And we have Woodfall Primus in hand, which is like the wall of roots target. Um, that's interesting. We can only cast a worm coil off of it. Is that worth it? I don't think so, man. Can't you just untap all of it? You're thinking of Devoted Druid, my friend. <laughs> oh. You know, I think you're right, actually. Plus, if they counter this, then, like, like this is... Any one land gets me way more stuff. So it's like, that's not even... Okay. Well, I'd like to hit a land now before they just refill their grip, but instead I hit <laughs> an endurance, which is not a land at all. Okay. I I'm just curious what a third land would have would have done for this game. Now they get to go up to eight cards, so I refuse to believe anything is resolving after this point. Shovel our forest back in. I honestly, if I do, uh, I if I do shuffle it in, I I would not be surprised if, um, I did draw land. Ooh, fiery confluence and paradoxical outcome. Oh, has escape the escape constant of the cards may cost just three other cards in your graveyard. We can even instant sacrifice this. But you don't have any mana. Whatever. I mean, maybe they're trying to cast this, but I don't think that works. I don't I, I don't know. But either way, this goes to the graveyard. That was What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Cool. Still no land? Got it. Got it. We're doing well for ourselves. We got a beater. I don't think they had a land either, so... I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, we just, we don't do anything. Let me guess, land? No land. Two, la two turns later. Okay, well, I... Not the most eventful rounds, but I'll take it. Sure.
only two lands were played, I believe. One land in the first game, one lands in the, in the second game. This hand is interesting. It's not good, but it's interesting. And if we hit like a Rafelos or a Channel, then we can pay 18. I'm going to keep it, man. We're on the draw, dude. Come on. Channel's going to be right on top, let's be honest. Yeah, Eureka's another card we can hit. Court of Bounty is good. Come on. There are dreams to be lived here. <laughs> the cards we mentioned just got so much better. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, I see what you're doing. Why didn't you... You should have chose the mocks, then you get a land. Channel. It was a forest. It's similar, but it's it's different. Why is this in here? This is very weird. When it enters the battlefield, X helps one other target creature artifact you control. Like, okay. Channel? In Dotha Triome. I have enough land, so I'm actually gonna cycle this and try to hit. Mino know how to resub with Bra God, Michael, get it together. I'm gonna yield until the next end step. I will not block, I don't think. I have to pay four, I should have responded. So we're not gonna do that after all. So let me carry at it, huh? Okay. Got it. They gonna bounce in response? Really? You got a Caracas right there. Whatever, I'll get a land. So we take three, four, five, six, seven, we go to four. Fascinating. Thank you. Six. Shoot. So if we, I think if we played this sooner, uh, we'd be in much better shape. Now we die. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. We have four mana still. Could be a Eureka. It's a plow under. Yeah, that was our fault. <laughs> Fantastic. Just phenomenal. Just, I'll keep this. We got a Eureka, sure. What else could we want? Thanks a lot, Moochel. Unbelievable. Channel. Vorin clicks. I mean, I have to assume that my Eureka hits will be better than my opponent's Eureka hits, right? Relic Warder with nothing. Okay, well, ideally we draw something like Ugin next turn. Channel. 
Sure. This is all fine. Come on. Okay, that's that'll do. Let's do this guy. I will select a primeval titan. What about you? What's your choice? Batter skull. Sounds good. I will choose Vorin Clino. Palace Jailer. Uh, I'll choose Worm Coil. Angel. I will choose this guy. And Guardian. Sure. Forest. Might as well, right? There's is good. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter really, right? I mean, getting triple removal spells is pretty good off of Palace Jailer, Palace Jailer, Angel of Sanctions, so. Yep. Put that in the hand. Did they not get that? Oh, yes, they did. They'll get it when he comes back, I'm sure. Yeah, they actually did very well, shockingly. What if we top deck an Ugin? Wouldn't that be cool? Negative five, attack with Primeval Titan. Wall of Roots is also good. <laughs> okay. Fascinating. Okay, Eureka is not better for us, unfortunately. If we attack, we go block here, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Otherwise, we block here, block here, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think we're dead. This was not a very eventful match, unfortunately. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You just attack and I lose. Okay. You can keep doing stuff if you want to. It's your choice. All right. Well, give me a chance to keep drawing Ugin, I guess. Endurance. It does have reach, but that's not going to do it. Let me guess. The next card, Zugan? No. Okay. Well, these games have been quite quick, so that's nice. What up, Tom Nath? Good seeing you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Kerwit with the gifted sub. Thank you for the for the resub, gifted sub man. All right. Well, wow, I'm really shocked that their Eureka was better than ours. I guess when you have like three exile effects in your hand between Palace Jailer, Angel of Sanctions, and then Blinking Palace Jailer, it's pretty good. But you know, yeah, like like you, it was actually a turn one uh, channel, so you know, even better than that, I guess. So hard to complain, but I'll still give it a go. The complaining that is. <laughs>
Oof. Interesting. I mean, we're definitely keeping this. 2-2 two, two on trophies. Nice, man. Congrats. Well done. Play this guy. No reason to play Mox Diamond here. Gary. Everything here. I mean, next turn, if we hit a land, we can play any of our four drops. It's really, it's awkward having channel and mox diamond in hand and not really being able to take advantage of either. Okay, that's good. Um, I think we're just discarding the overgrown tomb. Hmm. Do we just channel here? I think we actually channel here. Because if we channel, we still have two green. We can play Garrick, untap two green, and then play something else. Fascinating. Gary. One, two. And I think the only thing they can possibly do here is mana based in terms of counter spells. Spell pierce, sure. One, two. Okay. Deal Orama. <sighs> I mean, we can actually play Court of Bounty here, which makes us, I think it's actually Court of Bounty. Yeah, I think it is Court of Bounty, interestingly enough. Which seems unexciting, but I guess we did get four mana out of it. And we get to be the Monarch in a against a deck that could presumably not be super aggro. Yeah, this seems fine. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, sweetie! Where were you last turn, my friend? Oh, that guy's good, but we don't get the cast trigger, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just playing prime time here. And we'll get Triome and Forest. Eternal Witness. Getting back channel, you say? Well, butter my biscuits. This is what the cube is all about, my friends. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, seven, and eight, and nine, and I guess we'll just pay manor here. One, okay, <laughs> so that'll do, that'll do, pig. <clears throat> well. Buttering your biscuit at work is an HR violation. God, this company is really, really cracking the whip. Channel again. <laughs> Nothing to really exploit it with though, but I think this hand is still good enough. That guy's really obnoxious, like extremely obnoxious. Ugin, give me an Ugin. Okay, second turn Rafellos is fine, that's good. Channel plow you can only do on turn four because like you need four green for it. So it's not even like, it's not even that good. Green, green. I 
I will not block. Is this non-creature spell? Sure. Splendid. Then I'll cast a creature spell. It's your boy. Mystic Confluence. Oh, just a Venser? That's fine. I don't care. Boy, I've really been aggressive here. This is way more aggressive than I was expecting. Fascinating. One, two, three. Now we can channel, eh? Do 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 do. I'm gonna say nay on that. You can have a card. That's fine. Actually, four, five, six. I don't think it does anything. Yes, I'll just prevent it. Because this is still giving us four, right? So. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, maybe I should have paid. Because then I could have plowed under your lands or something. But I don't know. It's not even worth just playing Court of Bounty here. Then they become the monarch, though. Oh, that sounds rough. Nobody wants that. They have one card in hand. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. If we hit any, if we hit a forest, we can just hard cast the log here. Which seems okay. Yeah, there's like no world in which I block. <laughs> That's not a land at all. So eight... I guess we're gonna just do that. This gets the same two lands as Primeval Titan, but we can actually activate it, and that could be kind of sick. That's frustrating, because now we just have to, I'm just gonna run an Eternal Witness out here as a blocker. That's fine. Do you activate immediately? Probably, right? Okay, you have no cards in hand? I do like that. Probably just gonna block here. Cause that guy's kind of a pain. And now you have one fewer artifacts, so. Free Rona is not bad. Ugin. Mind twist with zero cards. Lordy, lordy, lordy. And now we can't actually even... I'm playing 23 lands and a Mox Diamond, so I should not be missing this many land drops. I mean, they could just easily flip this. Next turn, that's five... I mean, I guess we're free to play whatever we want here. I guess we just play this. Five, six, seven, eight. I think we're, I mean, we're dead if they also attack with. Oh, God. I guess they can't do both. Yeah, all right. They can't do both. Like, we just definitely need the lands. Oh, they lost a the flip. They're only one life more than we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is this? Whenever it's dealt damage, like I exile a card from my hand. If it's a land, you may put it on the battlefield. Otherwise, you may cast it. Yeah, that card's really good. This feels mythic. Does this not feel mythic? <laughs> like that second side is super mythic. Plus, she's a looter that has no downside. Like it 
it's a free loot. It doesn't cost anything like a nice. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> that doesn't, that don't impress me much. Oh, they didn't, oh man. The free turn we just got there was wild. How much mana do we have? Four, five, six, 12. We could have 14. That's a lot, but I don't know if that's enough. We might just want to play like an Ulamog. Get rid of Glenn. Actually, I don't think I care about Glenn. Maybe we get rid of Urza and... Four, five, six. We have 12 right now. So we play Ulamog. We get rid of Urza and Rona. Like our whole hand is spells, so. Urza and Rona. Get rid of the Rona. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> That'll do, I guess. All right, 2-1. I did not think that was going to be the end, but here we are. Is, it, is the match still up? I'd kind of like to see that board, but... Like, because we get rid of these, and, like, they still have six power in the air, and we're at ten. So they could literally just attack us for six. I mean, then we get Woodfall Primus to kill this, or we get Vorinclex to block it, I guess. Or both, if we... Had, yeah, I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you liked that ridiculously fast 2-1, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.